Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game. Hello, everybody. This is Coach D with TackleTrading.com here to give you a market recap and help you anticipate what's coming the rest of the week here. Uh, if we take a look in here, you can see that the market put in another little bit of a rise today. It, you know, we came in off of those lows, and we saw that close. That's an inside candle back here. This is what's called a Harami when you see the inside candle like that. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that so we can see that a little bit better. And the inside candle here is anytime you have a um, opposite colored candle that in is cl enclosed inside the body of the previous candle, that's called a harami. In this case, it's a bullish harami. And again, yesterday we talked about it coming in with um, you know, less than impressive volume. And we talked about the fact that this week was going to get pretty light in volume and not see a lot of major activity. Well, that's exactly what we're seeing here, price moving up and even lower volume today, um, but not a major move. And so it's still kind of in this area where there's there's lots of overhead support resistance. Um, if we were to change time frames, you'd be able to spot some support resistance zones in there. I can, I can eyeball them right here where you can see the lows from that candlestick, this candlestick. That's a uh, support resistance neighborhood. And so it's hanging out in there. And as far as which way it goes tomorrow, it may be up a little bit, it may be down a little bit, it may be you know relatively small. And then Thursday is just a half day of trading markets closed by one. And so we've got you know lower high here, um, that low kind of holding, and not expecting a lot of volume, not expecting a lot of movement, um, really nothing major out of that. And the story is the same across the board. Uh, probably the only other thing I want to take a look at here is let's take a quick look at the dollar index. And get a feel for what's going on here. And with the dollar, um, we have some significant overhead resistance. And it's coming up off of a known support resistance zone. And we see it kind of after that correction right here, big drop, followed by less of a drop. What that means is price action slowed down, and it was finding some support, which led to a little bit of a rise right here. You see a little rise, and then prices have dropped back down. That's uh, inverted. It's possible forming inverted head and shoulders, and if it can take off to the upside, um, it'd be very similar to what you see down here, like inverted head and shoulders. It's not an uncommon pattern. Um, which would really probably turn this into a really big and ugly macro cup and handle. And again, remember the policy, the, the increase in the interest rate, really probably at this point in time serves to strengthen the dollar. And so, um, you know, just general posture on that, it's above its 200 period moving average. It's in, a, in that bull area, which is between the two, two moving averages and uh, trading off of the known support resistance neighborhood. So we'll keep an eye on that and expect I'm cautiously bullish on that dollar, but policy should keep it going that way. And then uh, let's take a quick look at the volatility index. And the volatility index has dropped back down as price action has slowed. And so we're seeing the volatility index here down in that neighborhood around 16 and change. And that's, you know, off of those previous pops and volatility. So definitely higher than the lows. So we got some premium in there, but not too, not too weak. And the market's not showing a great deal of fear in that fear gauge, though. So it's kind of returned right back to where its moving averages are all consolidated there. So that being said, kind of typical, um, you know, calm down in volatility. And just remember that they're negatively correlated to the market. Movements in the market up bring the volatility index down. And sharp downward moves will make the volatility index shoot up. And so you can use those as, again, 
to help you read the, the correlation there again. Now, for the rest of the week, um, if you haven't gotten your holiday Christmas shopping done, um, you have this is your last chance to go out and drive the economy up. Um, it is definitely the time of year where you know consumers are out there, and let's just out of curiosity take a look at the retail holders. And they have um, dropped down into a 200 period moving average. So you actually have some gaps in here. And the, the gap down is kind of a weakness in demand. So it pressured some of those new highs and it failed. So it, it was trying to break to the new high. And it popped its head up, popped its head up, and then it gave that up. And so you saw a lot of selling kick in right here. Boom. And part of that, you have a gap. It's working on filling that gap. But uh, that'll be an interesting one to, sh to watch shake out. It's kind of sitting right between its support and resistance zones right now in the middle. Um, looking a little bit closer at that, if we zoom in on that, you'll actually see a uh, <clears throat> hammer candle right there on that 200 period moving average. So that little candle right there, that's the hammer candle. That's uh, anytime you see a long lower shadow on a, on a candlestick. Um, like that, that means the prices came down and then went back up and were higher by the close of the session. So after the gap down, you had a little bit of downward energy, some selling pressure, and then prices came back up. And then today they continued towards filling that gap. Now, what we could watch for that to fill the rest of that gap. And, but other than that, it's you know, going to be not a lot of activity. Um, the volume here was not very big on the gap, interestingly enough. The gap down occurred on little to no volume. And then the filling into the gaps actually come back to more typical volume. So that's, again, the retail holders. So uh, for the rest of the week, we would, again, anticipate some very light trading, light volume. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys in here. And we'll you know share each other's um, trading ideas and, I, and everything we come across. This is a perfect time to build theta meaning work on your time decay trades, work on selling those covered calls, building up those naked puts, um, set, you know, setting up those credit spreads and iron condors and taking advantage of that little bit of increase in the volatility and uh, you know, sell, sell good, safe, out-of-the-money options. Um, you know, as far as delta goes, neutral to delta, low deltas, and uh, just bring in that time decay because you have extra days the market's closed. And Theta Claus is coming to town. Isn't it time you got off the sidelines and tackled trading? Join our online community of active traders where we make it happen every day. Stocks, options, futures, and forex at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game.